For me, one of the most important changes in Guardian 10.1.4 is completely redesign Game Client Management application. Installation and reconfiguration is finally clear and fully controlled. New setup by client application does not fully address all existing features from legacy one. There is no possibility to cancel, fail request and lack of quick review the currently installed modules. However, the simplicity of new interface will be approved by most of Guardium administrators. In this video, I will review the KTAB installation challenges on Linuxes and explain how all these tasks can be managed in new interface. Here we have the Red Hat 7 with Game Client installed and registered on Game Server. In Game Process Monitor view, we can check the registration and communication status. Now I will configure ESTAP installation task using Game. In the Choose Client section of Setup by Client, we see a list of the registered clients. Button Next switches installation flow to Bund selection. Bunds must be uploaded earlier, of course. Show only bundles option switches the view to more detailed information about bundle content. The unchecked show only latest version option extends bundle view and displays all available bundle versions. Here I selected the newest release of ESTAP. The corresponding client row notices in the selected bundle action the install flow. The status message and blank information about installed version confirm too that the installation approach will be used here. Next section provides possibility to set up configuration parameters. Here the game server is located on central manager, so I need to point the IP address of my collector when ESTAP is installed. We can add more configuration options from the list of available parameters. The default value is displayed if the parameter has the associated one. Then we have the module configuration summary, with possibility to review configured manually ESTAP parameters. There is also the possibility to review all or all editable parameters. Finally, we can schedule installation of configured module bundle. We can refresh the information about the installation progress. Installation finished successfully. All modules included in ESTA bundle are correctly installed. Everything looks OK, but the KTAP module has not been installed in this case, and it can lead to unexpected monitoring results, like invisibility of the local traffic or connections use the virtual IP addresses. STAP is correctly registered on the collector. However, identified database instances contain the T listener port parameter instead of KTAP port. It is standard behave when KTAP isn't available. T is the service working on the operating system level and sniffs TCP IP packets only. The information about the KTAP issue is much more visible in the STAP status report. So why the GIM displays information that the installation of KTAP finished successfully? Answer is simple. KTAP files has been correctly placed, installed on monitor system, but the KTAP kernel module couldn't be assigned to the current kernel version on Red Hat machine. If we review the value of KTAP enabled parameter after STAP installation, we notice that its value is zero. It means that there is no compiled KTAP for use on the system the Linux kernel. KTAP is lovable kernel module and extends the standard operating system functionalities. In case of Guardian, lovable module is responsible for TCP IP stack and shared memory review and database sessions identification and traffic sniffing. The nature of low-level system calls demands the consistency of lovable module with working kernel. The results in the need to recompile module anytime when Linux kernel is changed. Guardian team delivers compiled modules for many versions of kernel, however the software updates and its distribution takes time, so Guardian customers which update their Linux systems often will face the problem of lack appropriate kernel module from time to time. 
Previously, the module installation procedure was as follows. Before installation or STAP update, the Guardium administrator had to check availability of module in the installer. If the module wasn't available, it was necessary to check its availability in the module package for a given Linux version. If the module was located there, it had to be unpacked and manually installed on the target system. Otherwise, you had to report the problem to IBM. And after a few weeks, the compiled module for requested kernel version was delivered and then manually installed on the system. This flow still works, but doesn't cover the enterprise requirements for task automatization and process simplification. Also, the dependence of the system update on the availability of the software to ensure continuity of monitoring was a big problem. Therefore, the implementation of KTAP for constantly changing versions of the Linux kernel can be significantly simplified and automated now. I logged on the Red Hat where I have just installed STAP and reviewing the KTAP log. At the end of the file, we have the information that KTAP Loader wasn't able to identify suitable kernel module for current Linux kernel 3.10.0-693.70.1. There is also information that STAP installation cannot compile module directly on this node because the kernel development packages are not available. For Red Hat 7, three additional packages extending the basic profile must be available to manage compilation task. Maketool, GCC compiler, and kernel devil contains the kernel headers. On my system, the kernel development package wasn't installed, and this stops STAP to compile and initialize the KTAP correctly. I'm now installing the missing package, and I will force a try to initialize the module again. The KTAP reinitialization process can be pushed from GIMP. I'm selecting the installed STAP and modifying KTAP enabled parameter. Value 1 forces STAP to try install KTAP again. I pushed update action and waiting for it to end. On the collector, I'm confirming that KTAP is finally installed. The T driver has been replaced by KTAP module also in the inspection engine definitions. Also, the KTAP log contains information that KTAP reinitialization process compiled the kernel module for source kernel version. You should also notice that compiled module has been transferred to GIMP server as a subversion of initially installed one. In this case, minor number 800. This sub-release contains the compiled KTAP module from source machine and can be used later in more enterprise scenarios. I'm installing STAP again, on the machine where there is no compiler. The development tools installation on source machine is the best option, but this approach can be denied on production environments, where security policy doesn't allow to install any compilers to avoid execution self-managed code, out of change management process. I met with the situation very often. In this case, we cannot rely on previously presented method. That is why Guardian team opened another possibility. The changes between kernels are insignificant from sniffing perspective in most cases. So compiled module for one kernel version should work with some others too. Guardian dev team tests these associations and provides possibility to use modules for not tightly matched kernels. The agent is installed and uses T-driver. To check the possibility of using the pre-compiled kernel module, which is close to my system one, I need set KTAP allow module combos parameter and set it to Y. 
To re-enable KTAP, I'm using KTAP enable parameter. And finally, I'm starting update. Update has finished successfully. I'm checking KTAP status on collector. The T driver has been replaced by KTAP module, so STAP installer contained the module tested by IBM with my kernel. It is safe and fully supported. In the KTAP log is the confirmation that module wasn't compiled and combo feature approved kernel module for version 3.10.0-693.2.2. So the current KTAP installation flow looks this way. If there is not natively compiled module for current kernel, the development tools are used for module compilation on monitor machine. If compilation is finished successfully, the module is installed and some version of STAP is sent to game server. If dev packages are not available or compilation process fails, the KTAP allow combos module parameter is checked. If its value is Y, the approved by IBM dissimilar to the current kernel module is selected and installed. If combos using is disallowed or there is no tested combos, the T driver is installed and module compilation request to IBM is needed. It looks as a complex decision model but I suggest simplify it and use self-compiled modules based on pre-production and production environment relations. I have two systems, test and prod. It is standard configuration for most your applications. They have the same kernel, but the development packages are available on test one. Even your security policy doesn't allow compile code on production it should be permitted on test platform. My goal is STAP installation on production system where DevTool and Combos modules are forbidden. We start process from installation the STAP on test system. Agent on test is installed and KTAP works because has been compiled. On test, all development tools, GCC, make and kernel devil are available. On prod, the kernel devil module is not available. Now I'm switched to GameServer. Please notice that an additional module appeared with minor release 800 on the list of STAP bundles. I should use this one during STAP installation on prod because it contains the module compiled on test with the same kernel version. It should be better visible in the output one of the GIM GRD API command GIM list bundles. The new bundle with minor at 100 contains KTAM module also with 800 suffix. And finally, I'm set up the STAP installation on prod system using the module created with test compilation. Agent on prod is registered on collector and use KTAP module. In this scenario, the standard agent has been installed on test system. 
The installation forced Keita module compilation and then it has been automatically uploaded on game server. Finally, the locally created agent suffix 800 was installed on prod system where development tools are not present. Now I will upgrade STAP to new agent release. Process is very similar to previous one. We need to start from test system. After a successful installation of the new agent release, the locally compiled KTAP will be available on game server and it will be possible to upgrade agent on prod. I run the installation on test and wait for it to finish. It is upgraded from version 1013-101-342 to version 1013-102-081. It's time now to upgrade on a prod system with custom module available for new agent release. STAP has been upgraded on both machines with enable KTAP functionality. We face with one more important situation during kernel upgrade. The upgraded test environment initiates the KTAP rebuild automatically just after system restart. The new version of module after compilation is transferred to GIMP server with incremented suffix. Then we can install new custom module on prod machine. This action will copy new compile module without its reinstallation because system has not been upgraded yet. Finally, when prod will be upgraded, the appropriate kernel module will be available and installed. This procedure ensures monitoring continuity and simplifies agent administration. I'm upgrading the kernel and kernel developer packages on test machine. The restart is initiated to reload system with new kernel. System is booted with new kernel. In the KTAP log, we notice the kernel module recompilation for a new kernel. On game server, new custom STAM bundle appeared with suffix 801. The custom bundle suffixes are starting from 800 and they are incremented if new version comes for particular STAP release. Then I'm installing the new custom module on prod system. Please notice that new custom module installation is not related with new KTAP reinitialization here. Still, prod system works with older kernel and KTAP reinitialization is not required. This task will only copy the module to make it available when the needs arise. Agent has been updated and now I can upgrade prod system. And finally I'm rebooting prod system to finish kernel upgrade procedure.
prod system is upgraded to the same release like test one. Keta module from custom compilation with suffix 801 has been initialized after a reboot. At the end, on the collector, I confirmed that STAP on prod works and sniffs traffic using KTAP functionality.